go. Oh, good boy. I think we are officially camping in the rain. You're a legit camping dog, aren't you? Ready to go, buddy. He's so excited that we're about to get out and uh, go camping. So we're gonna stop into the local uh, outdoors store, grab a few supplies, and then we're off to go camping in the rain. I just stopped by a local bar here and we're weighing out our options. Uh, the power is out in town, so can't buy firewood. And we might just have to do a bit of car camping. Uh, I don't know if the rain's gonna let up uh, enough for us to get out into the back country. Um, so I want Blitz to have a really enjoyable camping in the rain experience. So we'll see what we can do. We might just have to post up at this bar tonight, who knows? Oh, it's dry enough. All right, bud, let's get camp set up. There's a break in the rain. Boy. Here you go, you're free. There you go, good boy. There you go. You don't want to get the stick? Get the stick. Get it. Get it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, good boy. What a good boy. All right, well, I got this all set up. Uh, it was kind of a, a mad dash to get this together, but I don't think it looks doesn't look too bad. There's a couple little goofy spots in it, but it will keep us out of the rain, and we should have a good night, shouldn't we, buddy? Yeah.
You gonna try to get in there? Huh. Keep trying, buddy. There we go. All right, well, it ends up that I might have lost one of the poles for the tent that takes and braces it across here. So I'm going to see if I can't rig up <laughs> something improvised with uh, this stick right here. Um, because if I can't get that rain fly nice and taut, we would, will be in for a wet, wet night. All right, guys, wish me luck. This just might work. <laughs> That'll work, buddy. Woods was nice enough to uh, to carry out a beer for me. We had his we had his water on one side of his pack, and that was so heavy that I couldn't figure out the weight distribution. With he was a good boy, and he carried this beer out for me. He's got an Ellie's Brown Ale from Avery. Has this little uh, chocolate lab on it, probably dedicated to one of the brewer's dogs. And uh, now we're just gonna wait for the rain to come through. Ah, cheers everybody. Ready to hunker down? There you go, buddy. You like my sleeping bag, or do you want your own? I'm not gonna lie, we hiked on back out to the car. We got a bundle of firewood, and uh, yeah, we're gonna cook up some barbecue pork chops, and I got some little baby potatoes to roast off too, and uh, should be a good meal, nice relaxing night, and uh, yeah, it keeps acting like it's gonna rain. We will see. Blitz has his wilder dog sleeping bag. He's a little big for it, but uh, definitely a lot better than carrying a full-size sleeping bag for him. How about that, buddy? Our sleeping bags even kind of match, don't they? You get snuggled in, I'm gonna get the pork chops going. I'm really glad that I got firewood. Seems to be pretty decent, too. Luckily, it's shrink-wrapped, because it was sitting outside in the rain. Blitz awoke from his slumber. Oh, what do you think about this, buddy? That's nice. This is, like, practically feathered. Got our Coglin super old-school fire starters. Heck yeah. Instant kindling, already ready to go. I picked a good bundle.
That'll work. That'll work just fine. All right, everybody, what a successful day. We're late getting out of town. It was pouring, pouring down rain the entire day. Once, that, once we actually made it out here, I was afraid we were gonna have to do some car camping, but, uh, you know, just ends up, the rain stopped. We got this beautiful camp all set up. The bubs is comfortable. I am too. And uh, yeah, yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna be a really good night. I'm glad that we didn't have to camp in a campground. Uh, it's still kind of 50-50 on if it's going to rain. I wouldn't mind if it did, because uh, we are totally set up and ready for it. All burritoed up. There, now you got two sleeping bags. You're a blitz Rito. <laughs> what a good boy. You want to go back to the tent? Or do you want to sit by the fire? sounding like it could start raining again so I better get dinner going we got some nice hot coals here ready to go we're keeping it really really simple tonight we're just gonna slap these on the fire add some barbecue sauce have those with potatoes and we're in for a nice meal All right, those pork chops are ready for some barbecue sauce. I'm gonna slap some butter on those potatoes, and we're good to go. The rain's starting to come down. We better stoke this fire back up, and we'll get ready to hunker down. We'll leave one unseasoned for the Blitzman. Yeah, but this is gonna be a good dinner. Oh yeah, those are nice and tender. All right, pat of butter on those potatoes. Let that melt up. Little bit of seasoning for the potatoes. Maybe a lot of seasoning for the potatoes. That is perfectly cooked, unseasoned. Blitz will have a nice dinner here. He never gets to eat people food at home, only when we go camping. Here you go, this is all you.
All right, we're gonna sit on down and enjoy this food. Listen to that wind howling. Got a nice German Pilsner. Let's eat. Mmm. That's perfectly cooked. We enjoyed a blitz. Here, sit down, bud. Sit. You want a potato? Just one little potato for you. Mmm. Look at that. All right, good boy. You enjoyed your food. I'm gonna enjoy mine. All right, everybody. If you can hear the rain, I think we are officially camping in the rain. Um, I'm gonna see if I can't get that those little embers over there stoked up. Uh, but it looks like we might just have to charge the battery, watch some stuff on Netflix, and really, really hunker down for the night. This is. Uh, this is starting to become some serious rain here. <laughs> hey, good boy. There you are. You're a legit camping dog, aren't you? All right, well, the rain's let up just a little bit, so I thought I'd check out and see how everything's doing out here. You can see we almost camped in between all these tall pine trees right here. But we're set up right over here. Look at that. Coals are still going. Even after all that rain, it's doing great. Um, as far as the tarp goes, yeah. It held up pretty well. One of the tent stakes fell out, but hey, we're uh, we're in the sand, man. It really, really helps out for drainage too, because definitely not going to be camping in a mud puddle. All right, got that st fire stoked back up, and. Uh, yeah, I didn't think I was able to gonna gonna be able to do it, but yeah, let's just have a little fireside chat. Crack this open. Yeah, so I was uh, I was listening to this old uh, uh, punk rock song by a Chicago band, and there's a line in it: uh, "You've got to see the forest for the trees." Um, and I was doing a, a bit more research uh, on that term. And uh, you gotta, you gotta learn how to look at the big picture. Don't get uh, stuck on all the little minute details or the trees, and you have to see the whole forest. Um, so that's been uh, that's been really stuck in my mind uh, the entire time preparing for this trip that I'm on right now. So yeah, gotta learn how to see the forest for the trees. We definitely did today. Uh, there was a lot of uh, uncertainty on what we were going to be able to do, but we just uh, kept on task, and here we are. We're out in the wilderness. We're not stuck in a little campground, and I just love it. The dog's getting more and more used to uh, camping in the rain, and uh, I think he's, he's loving it. He really is. Uh, that, that dog uh, likes to be... Uh, challenge just as much as I do. So, yeah, we're gonna sign off and uh, we'll see you in the morning for some coffee, maybe some breakfast. Maybe we'll just scoot into town and get some of that breakfast pizza that I'm always chasing. <laughs> Night, everybody. Whoa! There we go. Cheers. This rain is wild. And it looks like, I don't know if it's condensation, but there might be a few raindrops that are coming through here. 
as I look at Blitz's coat. Yeah, for the most part, we are generally dry. All right, it is still raining like crazy, but we are totally, totally hunkered down. Blitz is right here. He's just all cuddled up in my sleeping bag. But yeah, we're gonna finish getting set up, listen to the rain, and uh, yeah, we are, we are dry. We are as warm as you possibly could be in 30 degree weather. Let's get uh, let's get the rest of our sleep system all put together. Ever since I started camping with a real pillow, man, I've slept so much better. Simple as that, just the size of a water bottle, like they say. If they ever tell you that you can fill these things up in two breaths, they are a lion. All right, Blitz, time to move over, bud. Here, there's your sleep pad. Come on, buddy. Sit. Good sit. What do you think about this, buddy? Oh, you're doing good. You should be one in, in one of those commercials. Shouldn't you there, Wilder Dog? The famous Blitz Burrito. Morning, big guy. Ready to get up? You were a good boy last night. He only shivered just a little bit. He wasn't a total wimp about it. I hope that I can find that at home. Because um, I really like this tent. But I don't want to whittle a stick every time I... <laughs> I come out here. It is awful nice to see blue skies. All right, everybody, that was a great night camping. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do coffee and breakfast this morning. Uh, there's just way too much to break down here. It's cold, it's damp, and there is the chance that I could make it back into town in time to get some breakfast pizza. This is going straight over the backpack. I don't want to lose this one too. Want to show on that stick? That's a blitz size stick.
is definitely one of my favorite campsites right here. I'm glad this is where we spent a night in the rain. Oh, are you ready to head out of the woods? Wow. Yeah, you are. This campsite is just as we left it. We're gonna head on out, get back to the car, hopefully get into town and get some of that breakfast pizza. Pizza. I don't see any. Uh, I'm late. I know, right? Heck yeah, thanks, man. You too. <laughs> Look at that, buddy. Oh man, I really missed out. All right, everybody, that was absolutely a successful night. Got a little hairy there in the rain, that's for sure. Uh, we were a little chilly. Uh, I think the next time we go out, I got a definitely got to bring uh, Blitz's uh, winter jacket for when he's sleeping at night. The uh, little doggy sleeping bag that I got him didn't really do the trick. He's a little big for it. So uh, I think between the winter coat and the sleeping bag, he'll be sleeping pretty well uh, coming into the, the late fall and early winter. All right. Well, just wanted to check back in one last time. Uh, have a good one, everybody. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you again soon for another overnighter.